Hey, welcome to the Corvette Conti vlog, and I'll tell you what, who cares that I'm squinting? Starting this vlog, and not sure where it's going to go, but thanks for joining us. We'll make it informative, fun, and interesting for you some way, somehow. <laughs> it's January 21st. Who cares that I'm squinting? It's January 21st. It's going to be 65 degrees, and it's sunny. I'm loving it, man. What a great day to buy a Corvette. Hey. Any day's a great day to buy a Corvette, right? Absolutely. Hey, if you're rewarding yourself with a Corvette, that's a great day. Who cares what it is? Who cares if it's new or if it's used? But thank you so much for the opportunities. I just wanted to share the excitement that I'm having right now with a beautiful sunny morning on Saturday. Oh, man, oh man, does this feel good. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, hey, more, more new Corvette clothes. Z06 shirt. <laughs> Told you. Well, walking billboard. Well, Dustin's going to be here in a little bit, a past customer of ours and actually a subscriber on the channel, and he's trading in his ZR1 Corvette. That's still a real special car to me, and back in the day in 2012 and 2013, our store here at Coughlin was the number one ZR1 dealer in the country. Yeah! Hey, like that. Love boasting those facts, don't I? <laughs> Not like some other guys. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Never mind, we won't go there. We'll save that for another vlog. But he's coming in, trading the ZR1, so it'll be good to see him again. He bought a Grand Sport from us uh, years ago, and he's ordering a new 17 Grand Sport. So it's pretty cool. It's always great to deal with past customers. So who knows what this day's going to bring. Like I said, welcome to the vlog. Let's have some fun talking Corvette. Hey, he's pulling in right now. Nobody. Good to see you, you again, man. Time. I, I did some business with you when I got back from Afghanistan. Yeah, I remember, man. I remember. Well, as you can see, it's pretty Not, damn near perfect. Yeah, night race blue. Yeah. I figured I'd record you being that you're a subscriber on the channel. It's like, okay, I might as well be on the vlog, too. <laughs> this bugs, man. Oh, it's good. But, uh, That's good, man. How's everything else going? It's great, man. Like yeah. I said, uh, pleasure doing business with you. You, know? you too, man. Yeah. I appreciate it. Uh, you know, this car... You know, at the end of the day, this is one of the most fastest accelerating cars I've ever owned. Oh, yeah. But uh, I've owned it for a while, had a lot of fun with it. Yeah. And now I want something a little bit more manageable. Yeah. But, uh, you know, yeah. it's just the bragging rights. But oh, sure. That, you can't use it on the street. I think ZR1 as a whole is still going to be that diamond in the rough. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's amazing. I remember in the transition from C6 to C7, there were some GM engineers that were out mm -hmm. buying ZR1s at the end. Because they know that this, this, I mean, this car has its stats, but I think personally, it outperforms even the numbers that GM says, and they just yeah. don't want to. They want to oh, say yeah. that, you know what I mean? I mean, it's just—it's a hell of a car. That 13 supersonic blue Grand Sport I bought from you was just a great car. That supersonic I blue is that. a freaking gorgeous color, man. I love. I, love, I do too. I yeah. really like that color a lot. We're doing a stick, or are you doing automatic? Uh, stick holy. Stick. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, dude. Nice. I love it. Okay, uh, you want visible carbon? Uh, I want the visible carbon roof and the and hood. The hood. But those those PS2s are actually really good tires because mm -hmm. the rating on the new PS2s are the same as those old mm -hmm. Super Sports on the ZR1, the 180 okay. Treadwear. They're really good tires. I don't know why people are so scared of them. <laughs> they are. <laughs> yeah. Like I said, you can get a minimum of 7,000 miles out of them easy. Most guys are getting 10 out of them from my perfect forums. Well, the other I think in addition to that, I think it's just knowing how to drive on the darn things. You know. Get them warm up. Yeah. yeah. There's no doubt about it. And you don't move them when it gets below 20 degrees because they will crack. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And they jump all over the place, right? Yeah. Yeah. Like, ah. Yeah. And those ceramic brakes, I know you don't need them on the street, but they spoil you with the low maintenance, the, the zero brake. Oh, there's no doubt No about corrosion. It. Yeah. Like, but if you don't warm them up properly on the track, if like, except you don't know what they're doing, you can glaze them over and boil oh. the warranty on them. And Brembo will know if you glaze them over. They have yeah. Glaze. That's, I've had a couple clutch discs uh, yeah. that glaze like yeah. what you speak of. Yeah. Very similar material to carbon ceramic. Yeah. Now remember with Grand Sport, the one difference is, is Grand Sport, your uh, ductwork is going to be painted the color of the car. That's great. Where it's, it's different on Z06, but on there it's going to be the color of the car. So that, that red against the carbon fiber and that hood insert, it's going to just pop so yeah. much. I just can't wait. Well, Rick, man, it's been a pleasure. Dude. We're going to head on out, man. Yes, yeah, like yeah, congratulations. Email me whenever you get that order allocation in. 
Hey, just a quick cut in here. Somebody messaged me and said, hey, Rick, you know what? I've been watching the vlogs, really enjoy them. Appreciate that feedback. Thanks, guys. Uh, it's great to have you here, it really is. And, and any and all feedback I love. And somebody said, uh, hey, you know what? You haven't eaten on your vlogs lately. <laughs> because I was getting teased because I would eat on camera with you guys. Well, my boss just got these big donuts from Paula's Donuts. Can you see that on camera? Uh, over in Tonawanda, New York. So I figured I'd take a bite just for you. Mm. Mm. I had to eat a powdery one on camera so it'd be all over my face, get in my mustache. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Welcome to the vlog. <laughs> this is pretty damn good. Mm. This really is good. Bye, I gotta get cleaned up. Hey, I told you it was a nice, nice day in January. Dana and her husband, Willie, came in and bought a new Corvette. Congratulations. But this is really your Corvette, isn't it? That is. Yes. That's right, girl. Look at that smile. That's her Corvette. Everybody stand back. <laughs> <laughs> this is my car. That's right. Congratulations. Thank you so appreciate much. Appreciate the business. You, you guys were been wonderful. Buy. Thank you. Appreciate totally that. Totally yeah. wonderful. You it was worth awesome. the drive. Fantastic. And you get a hat, too. Absolutely. Yeah, you're happy yeah. now. <laughs> Well, it's been a fun day, but before we end the vlog, I always like to give you some product information or a tip on the new Corvettes. And what I want to show you right now is the difference, because a little bit's changed in 2017, the difference on a level one, a level two, and a level three aero kit that you can get on your Grand Sport or Z06 Corvettes. Of course, when I start to do this, it starts to rain, but that's okay, you guys will get the gist of it. Uh, let me just stand back here real fast. Uh, quickly, this car is a level two aero kit. That's a level three. That's a level one. Let's start at the front of the car for level one on your Grand Sport or Z06s. This will be the piece that you get underneath the front bumper. And we've mentioned this in previous videos on your level one aero kit. This comes standard now on 2017 Grand Sport and Z06. Kind of a three quarter rocker extension. This piece is made out of fiberglass where your level two and level threes are made out of carbon fiber. I'll do the best I can to show you here. Again, this is a level one aero kit that you'll get on Grand Sport or Z06 on the rear spoiler. Goes all the way across, but you'll notice just a little bit of a lip up right here. These are attached right there like that. And that's your level one, okay? So it comes up just a little bit higher than a regular spoiler. Some folks end up taking these little winglets off, as I like to call them, and then they put the taller ones that you normally see on a level two without actually adding the full ground effects and the things in the front. Now let's go show you a level two real quick. So level two aero kit starts right here, and this piece can be detached, and we'll show you why for the level three. But this piece is all carbon fiber, comes all the way across, nice contour across the front end of the car. That piece is made out of carbon fiber. It's available in the Carbon Flash Black Metallic, which I think is great because it's easy to repair if you get a rock chip, but you can also spend more money, $1,000 more for the whole kit, and get an exposed carbon fiber piece there and your matching side rockers. You get something that's a little bit more contoured. Notice how it's a full length down the side of the rocker, okay? And as it comes down here, just where you would normally open the door and step out, you have that contour. It was neat, I remember years ago when I was at the Z06 reveal for the C7 generation, and they were talking about that piece right there that we were just showing you. And in addition to being functional to get out of the car and step down and not step on it, it also served as a nice aerodynamic feature, and they didn't really plan on that, so it was kind of a win. On the level two aero kit, you will get taller winglets like this, okay? That all comes in the 2995 or the 3995 feature. That's a good shot of it right there. Remember how I said these pieces are detachable? This piece here is the same on level one with the addition of these taller winglets for your level two. So again, your level two is gonna be the taller winglets, full length rocker, full length extension across the front end. Now when you look at a level three, it only comes on a Z07, Z06 car. And I'll explain, yes, and people are saying, well, you can get Z07 on Grand Sport. Ah, but you don't get some of the features that you get on Z06 in level three. And there's some other things I wanna to explain to you on Grand Sports, but hang on a second. So this is your level three 
aero kit. Again, full contour across the front, but when you go to level three, those smaller little pieces on the ends, those detach and give you these bigger extensions. We like to call bird catchers, but they're a great, they're a great aerodynamic piece, taking that airflow right up over the wheel well, boom, right down into there and right into that rear duct. So the differences in a level three are going to be this piece. Your side rocker stays the same. You still have the tall winglets in the back, but the difference now being is you will have, let's come from the back and you can see it better. You will have a clear adjustable wicker, an adjustable wicker bill right there for your downforce on the track. You see that from behind? So that's your level three. Level three, big winglets, clear wicker bill, full rocker extension, taller end pieces, full extension across the front bumper. Okay, and here's where it gets just a little confusing. Now in Z06, Z07 package, you have to pick either the carbon flash or the exposed carbon fiber weave as a level three aero kit on Z06 and Z07. Knowing that you can get Z07 package now on Grand Sport, here's a couple of things to keep in mind. Remember, your standard rocker extension is gonna be this. Your standard spoiler will be that. Your standard front end is this. So unlike Z06, when you pick the Z07 suspension package, you have to pick a aero kit, either carbon flash or exposed carbon fiber weave, as we mentioned, and that's the level three. That's the only thing you can pick on a Z07 package. But when you do Grand Sport, you could order Z07 and not pick any aero ground effects. You can just use the standard stuff that we just shown you, or you could choose what would end up being only available on Grand Sport is a level two aero kit. See that three where you get that extension in the front and the clear wicker in the back? It's simply not available on a Grand Sport Z07 package. So a little bit of confusion there. We go through this a lot. And I figure I'd share that with you right now on the vlog and I hope that it helps someone that's considering one of these Corvettes, Grand Sport or Z06 with an aero kit and dispels what the difference is between level one aero, level two and level three. That's why I'm glad you guys are here. So remember, if you're getting ready to reward yourself and you're gonna stop dreaming and you're gonna start driving, I wanna be your guy. I hope to earn your business. Thank you so much. I wanna be a part of your Corvette family. Thanks for watching.